Hello, and thank you for inviting me to help usher in Women's History Month at Stony Brook, a time to acknowledge and celebrate women's contributions to society, as well as the perseverance it took, and too often still takes, for women to have their voices heard. As president, I am incredibly proud of the way Stony Brook University fosters an academic community in which diversity of experience, background, and thought is at the core of our excellence. From our Women's Leadership Council, which helps provide meaningful career opportunities and mentorship to women across disciplines, to our WISE program, which is making serious strides in fostering gender parity in STEM for both high school and current university students. Our innovative programs have made this institution one of the best in the world for inclusivity. Some of you may know that I am the second woman president of Stony Brook University. We all know the benefit of role models and mentors. Yet when I attended college and graduate school, there were very few women professors. And so I wanted to take a minute to talk about one of them as a way of honoring all those women whose perseverance have helped pave the way for those of us following. In 1991, I became the teaching assistant for Dr. Anne Coffin Hansen, an award-winning scholar on Manet and the Italian Futurists. She was hired at Yale in 1971, just after Yale began admitting women as undergraduate students. And she was the first woman hired as a full professor. And at that time, only the third at the university to hold that rank. In her time at Yale, she helped change the history of the institution, setting it on a path toward greater gender equality. Through so much of her career, she was the only woman in the room. As her teaching assistant, it was clear to me that many of her battles had been hard won, yet she persevered. And I and my peers and all the women who have followed are deeply grateful for her leadership and other women like her who helped pave the way for the generations to follow. I am so excited by the exhibition surrounding us, Revisiting Five Plus One. The original 1969 exhibit excluded women artists, but today we get to celebrate the women of that generation also working in abstraction, including our own Howard Dina Pendel, one of the 20th century's most influential and groundbreaking artists. That spirit is alive across our campus. There are so many women making radical innovations across science, the humanities, social sciences, art, and medicine. I'm inspired to look around Stony Brook and see the powerful presence of our women students, staff, and faculty. Today, we have an opportunity to learn about the importance of women practitioners and participants in our healthcare system and how Stony Brook can continue to play a role in fostering gender equality in medicine. Thank you to our panelists and moderators for your participation today. And thank you also to our MCs. And finally, thank you to everyone in attendance today and the many dedicated, talented women in the room.